Hey guys, today's gonna be a guide on obtaining custom player model skins, not as in weapons, as in like the actual player models for a CSGO dedicated server. So the first step is going to be going to this page right here and getting this plugin called Player Skin. Um, you just go to the bottom and then download the latest and after that you're gonna head over to SM file folder downloader and precaster, whatever the heck it's called. Um you're going to want this because it basically forces the client to download the actual player model files and then you're going to head over to wherever you can obtain the actual model itself. I'm going to use um, Game Banana because I guess it's pretty well known but you go here and you can just get whatever you want so I'm just going to pick something kind of interesting. Just download it however you can. Um, for me, I'm going to hit manual download and then on the top right here, just click download and then put those aside and we're going to throw them where we need to throw them. So what I'm going to do next is go to whatever file host you have, uh, a CSGO fast DL, whatever, whatever you have set up and put the actual uh, player model files in there. So open it up. Sometimes there will be like a server side and a fast DL. If you're obviously if you're doing it on your fast deal, just open the fast deal folder and then drag those in there. But for this specific skin, there's none, so I'm just gonna drag them both into wherever I can. So models and materials, I'm going to go ahead and drag them into their designated spots on here. So once you've uploaded everything to your fast deal, you can close out of that, and we can start working on the actual server now, your CS:GO server. So the player skin that you downloaded, the models and materials, you're going to want to drag into the CSGO directory uh, for the plugin, the downloader one. You can go into your CSGO add-ons and drag source mod into here. And the player skin, you can just go to your main CSGO directory and then drag add-ons into here. Once all of those things have been uploaded to the correct location, you can go to CSGO add on source mod configs. And the two that you're going to want to mess with would be downloads.ini and skin.ini. You can use download simple instead of downloads.ini, but I'm just going to use this one to be safe. And so skin.ini, I'm going to work with first. So right here's where you would actually go and set up your skin. So I would call this one Venom. Uh, the skin name, you can call it pretty much the same thing I believe the path to it this is where things I guess get a little tricky so you want to go into your um, the mo the skin you downloaded the path for this one would be models player custom player Kirby Venom so I would type that in here models player custom player Kirby Venom and then you can copy the MDL in here as the last part of it so that would complete the skin path if the skin has arms with it as well this one doesn't but if it does you'd put the path to the arms team number I'm gonna leave it blank to make it public and I'm gonna leave arms um, empty as well because there isn't really a path to it user flag I'm gonna leave empty I believe that's for permissions if you want certain players to be able to use it the ID has to be unique to the skin, so I'm just going to call this one skin underscore venom. The group, if you have a category set up for your menus, which you can find more about this um, on the plugin website, but I'm not using one right now. And so that's pretty much how you would set up this skin. If you wanted to add another one, you can copy this format. Basically, just type in just different stuff for the path name, etc., all that. Just make sure the IDs don't match. If two skins have the same ID, I don't think they'll work. And so once you have this set up, the last thing to do is to go into your downloads.ini. Once again, you can use download simple. And if you go to the skin, th uh, sometimes a text comes with it that has these paths right here. Sometimes they'll be on the website of the skin that you got it from. But for this one, it came with the download, so that's nice. And you're basically just going to paste that underneath the file section of this. And once you do that, I believe everything's good to go. You can start up your server and join. One last step, actually, before starting it would be going to CSGO, CFG, source mod, and then configs.playerskin. And what I like to do is set this to zero. So basically, 
you can change your skin whenever you want because that timer right there you'd have to probably restart your server to be able to switch skins again and usually when you're setting up skins for the first time you'll run into some problems so it's good to have that on zero to debug it for like the whole time upon loading into your server you should see things downloading in the bottom right and usually if you open your console you can see that uh, most of them are downloading sometimes you get an error but I don't think it really matters so once you load in type in exclamation point skins in the chat and you should see a little menu that pops up and you can choose your skin that you added so I went ahead and turned Enjoy. cheats on so what I'm going to do is type in third person and you should be able to see your skin for some reason this one's black I, th I think the skin is kind of buggy but if you find another skin it should work properly with if you do the same process in the video so I hope you helped I hope this helped you guys out if you have any other guides just let me know and I'll try to get it out for you later